Hey, how's everybody doing today? Been a little bit since I've done a video, and I'm not doing anything about video cards or anything today, but what I want to talk about is I picked up this, this drive. Let me zoom this out a little bit. I picked up this drive. $99. Five terabytes Seagate and I started wondering I'm sure people have heard about shucking before shucking a drive well it's a portable drive five terabytes for ninety nine dollars now if you were to buy a mechanical Seagate four terabyte it would probably cost you two hundred and fifty three hundred dollars so this is almost the size of a smaller SSD. Well, it, it, I'm not sure what's in it yet, but we're going to find out. I'm going to tear it open. I hope this is easy to get open without cutting my finger off. Here we go. Try and do this without breaking anything, but it doesn't look like it. I'd like to save the box if I could. I want to see what's in here. Let's see, I think I can get this in there now. I don't think this case is going to be able to be saved. So I don't know if it's a lit, lit, if it's a mechanical. It didn't say on the packaging if there's a mechanical in here. If it's mechanical or it's the SSD style. Way oh whoa, baby. Okay. It may be a mechanical drive. I can tell you what, it's a little bit thicker. It's probably a quarter inch thicker than a Western Digital or an A Data. SSD. Okay. What do we have here? Uh, that's all it is. Not even a wire going to it. It's a little PCB with the power for SATA and the SATA connector. It goes right on in here. It's got the little holes on there for screwing it in. It even comes with the screws. I'll be. Look at that. $99, 5 terabytes. Can't go wrong. I'm sure Seagate's going to love me for doing this. I mean, it's not going to fit inside of a laptop, that's for sure. It's too thick. Like I said, it's probably a quarter of an inch thicker than a regular SSD drive. Do I have one? Actually, I do. Okay, laptop SSD. It's about one and a half times... So you're probably, yeah, uh, it's not twice as thick, but a little bit, a little bit thicker, 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 
I'm pretty psyched. Five terabytes for 99 bucks. Got it on sale at a egg place. Don't want to say the whole name. As you can see, it's identical. Pretty much. The holes line up exactly. Four screws are in it. And the reason I wanted to look at it is because if you were going to put this into your machine with a USB C, it would have only been limited to 10. 10 gigabyte back and forth. It's 3.0. By going direct SATA, you're releasing the full power. Full power. I think it's somewhere 250, between 250 and 500, 300, something like that. I didn't even look it up, but I know it's a lot more. It's like 250 gigabyte speed, so it's wide open. I would have to say it's definitely it's definitely mechanical but still I just put a two terabyte for extra storage that I haven't even used yet in my system a Seagate two terabyte and I paid fifty five dollars for it I looked up a four terabyte was like f f 350 I'm actually hanging there let's go take a peek see oh come on dude really I wonder if they're having the shuffle today they had a big one yesterday okay components Come on, come on, come on. Hard drives. I'll even look up mechanical. And we'll bring it right up to four terabytes or higher mechanical. Actually, that's not bad for a mechanical. You can get a um, a six terabyte for a black Western Digital Black or a Seagate. Seagate's two hundred dollars. Not even. They are definitely dropping in prices. So anyways, for like 150 you can get a four. This is $99 for five. Oops, wrong one. A little bit thicker, but still it saves you a lot more room than going with the big three and a half. So on top of that, I just kind of threw away the warranty. <laughs> But still, how often do these go? Anyways, I wanted to keep it short. Do a little something. I got some video cards, a couple motherboards, some things that I'm going to be going over in the near future. So when I get to that, I'll get to that and I'll, I'll do a little bit more posting. But everybody can see just pretty much how easy that was. I think that was a pretty good deal. Five terabytes. 99 bucks. I'll take it. All right, everyone. We're going on 10 big minutes, so 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I've got, let me see, actually real fast. I have a Power Color 58 XT. I have an MSI, 
an MSI Gaming Trio 69 XT, a Zotac that I did, I, did, I already did a review on the Zotac 3090 Trinity. What a nice card. Like I said, it's on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel on JP Tech Reviews. Um, very nice card. It's in my system right now. I've got three of them, so I've got a couple motherboards, some CPUs that I, I got, power supplies. I got all this stuff from my retailer in Ohio. And hopefully in the near future, I'll be getting an online store going and maybe even literally... I'm running out of room, probably going to have to get a a storefront. It's not going to be open to the public, I don't think. It's just going to be some place where I can do. I got a friend of mine that does some live streaming, mostly gaming. That'll attract people. Reviews and basically all just online shopping and shipping. I'm I'm not into the people walking in and working on dirty old computers and doing all that crap anymore. That was years ago. All right, anyone? If anyone is interested, you know where to go. You can find these things. If you think it's worth ninety nine dollars for five terabytes, what the heck? Go for it. I did it more or less because of the space that it saves. And I basically saved around 50, 60 bucks, so I'll take that too. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Later.